Hi, welcome to Edify with me, Robert Mwando. Here we exalt, exhort, and edify. We exalt God because when He is exalted, He draws men unto Himself. We exhort each other unto a deeper love and commitment for God and to God living. Ultimately, we edify, bringing clarity to life by the ancient word ever true, changing me and changing you. Today in our Edify Bite, we talk about faith, hope and love. It's been over 80 days since you last gathered in a church building for worship or played football in your favorite stadium or even watched a game or even went parting to your chosen happening place. The doors have been slammed. We are locked down. Here in Uganda, first it was 14 days, then 21, and now we've lost count. Well, in such times when all doors seem to be slammed against you, what you need to keep is faith, have hope, be loved, and love. Faith, in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, it gives us this clear definition of faith. Faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. Hope is defined by Google as a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen. So faith is the belief that there is something better to seek while hope is the expectation or the certainty that it is there. Hope is the fuel that keeps faith alive in our quest to find love. Love. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, it's clearly put that the greatest of all spiritual gifts is love. Based on this, we know that love is the result that we see of our faith and our hope. Love is the goal. It's always been God's goal that while we were yet sinners, He demonstrated His love for us by giving His own and only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. Now, in these uncertain times, when governments can't give you any assurances, when scientists can't give you any hope and all seems dim and grim. Three things will last forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Again, it's been edified with me, Robert Mwando. I hope you were edified. God bless you.